beautiful people of the internet and welcome back to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, you're trying to be a girl boss or a man boss or just any sort of a boss. A little background about me, I've spent the last like five to six years building up my Instagram following. I didn't used to take it too seriously. And then a few years back, I was like, you know what? Like I really enjoy Instagram and taking good photos and I want to make a career out of this. Back then that was kind of like unheard of. Like the only people who were getting paid for Instagram were like the super crazy high up bloggers who had like at least a million followers. They were doing all these paid collaborations and I was like, okay, I don't even have 10,000 followers. There's no way I'm going to be able to get paid to post. But over the years, I've definitely learned a lot of tips and tricks in order to build up my Instagram following and I thought it was time to share some with you guys. So basically Instagram is my full-time job. I literally get paid to post and that is how I pay my bills and everything. So if you guys want to know how I do that, then keep watching. All right, let's get to the stuff. I'm gonna give you guys my top 10 tips and tricks in order to grow your Instagram. Number one is pretty basic, but comment on everything. So like, don't just, you know, comment on a bunch of random photos, like find your niche of things that you like. Like if you like photography, then comment on a bunch of photography pages. Um, if you like fashion, comment on a bunch of fashion bloggers. And the more you comment, the more people are gonna see your name around too. They're gonna be like, oh, who's this girl? They're gonna click on you. That's gonna lead to them liking your photos and following you. There's a whole like trickle system right there. So if you are commenting everywhere too, people are gonna notice you and you know, that way you can start to engage with, with higher people up so that you know, if they comment back to you, then other people can see that and they wanna follow you and be like, oh, you know, like this great big famous person commented back to this person and they're gonna to wanna to know who you are so they're gonna come check you out. Number two is to like everything that pertains to what you want to excel your Instagram in. So for example, I do a lot of like fashion and lifestyle and beauty. So that's a lot of the photos that I like. I will like at least, at least 250 photos a day. So that means you gotta scroll and sit there and like, I know, but you know what, you gotta put the time in if you want to grow your Instagram because everybody wants to get famous overnight but it's not gonna happen you have to put that hard work in and let's be honest like sitting here going like double tapping that's not a lot of work I know you sit there for a half hour on tinder and do this instead of doing that do this get them likes those boys aren't gonna be there for you followers will Number three is learn when to post. Now there are tons of articles out there that will tell you when the best time to post during the day is, but generally it is either in the morning or in the evening, usually in the early morning between like eight and nine, I wanna say, and then in the later evening around like five to eight. Do not post in the middle of the day unless you want to try and kind of experiment with that. Cause a lot of people are on lunch break and sometimes they'll check their phones, but for the majority of people, they do have those like nine to five jobs. And so they are going to be, or they're in school, but they're, you know, they're gonna be kind of occupied and you're not gonna get as high of an engagement. Also, it makes sure that you are using popular hashtags so not only do you want to use like the popular hashtags so if you you know you don't just want to type in like hashtag fashion unless you know you want to get lost in the millions of photos that are fashion so do something that's really like relatable to your photos so if it's a picture of you know a dessert and it's a cupcake you know just do like cupcake frosting bakery baked desserts desserts you know things that are kind of relevant to your photo that won't just get like looked over because people who are searching for those hashtags will find your photos and then they're gonna engage with you higher because they found you over the hashtag I personally can tell that a lot of my posts that have hashtags especially certain ones that are directed straight to that photo not just copy and pasted ones um, those ones always do a lot better and they always have a higher engagement rate now if you guys have any sort of a phone or I think you can probably do it on a tablet too there's tons of apps it's like tags for likes you can copy and paste uh, popular hashtags and then you just copy it straight from your phone and then as soon as you post you do it right below in a comment which is great because then you don't have to type out you know 30 hashtags then you guys can go back in and edit so if you do like you copy and paste all the photography ones but it's not necessarily like exactly what you want. You can delete some of them and add your own in. That's personally what I do. I take some of the more popular ones and then I also add ones that are specific to each photo that I post. Number four is work with brands. Even if you have a smaller following, this is crucial in order to build that following. So the way that I did that is I started to tag companies in my photo. So like for example, these necklaces are from Forever 21. If I posted a selfie, you know, I would tag Forever 21. I would tag Kohl's in this t-shirt. If I had certain like makeup products on, I would tag that company in it. And the more that you tag companies, the more they're gonna actually see your photos, especially if you tag them in the photo and in the caption, they're gonna see that and they're gonna say, okay, you know, like this girl's got some great photos. Maybe we should send her some clothes or send her an outfit or something and have her style it and put a photo together for us. And like that is the way that I started building up. I started tagging every single company. Like I didn't care if it was a picture of a Colgate toothbrush, I would tag Colgate because the more people who see the tagged photos on their profile are gonna come to you as well. So it's not only just the bigger brands that are gonna see you. Number five is to take high quality photos and edit them accordingly. Do not take an iPhone photo and edit it on your iPhone unless it is a crisp, clear photo and you have great editing apps. Do not, I repeat, do not. If you take anything from this video, just take it this way. 
Do not use the Instagram editing tools that are in the app. Do not open up your photo and try to edit an Instagram. It is awful. It just completely diminishes the quality and it makes your photo look all pixely and crappy. Just don't. I personally love to use Visco. I think people call it like BSCO or Visco or whatever, but that's what I like to use. I also have a Color Story, which is really great because it's got a ton of super nice filters. Um, they just make things look a lot cleaner. They can make your whites pop or your blacks pop or your colors pop, whatever you want to do. And then I also use Facetune just because it has that great whitening app that I'm sure everybody has heard of now. I use it in like a ton of my photos. And then I also use the details on Facetune. That's just really nice if I have a lot of product shots and I kind of want like the label to pop or something, but you just want a little bit of extra detail that app will help. Number six is to include call to actions in your posts. So if you're writing something, make sure you include, you know, like, what are you guys up to? You know, comment down below your favorite color. Or if I'm posting something about an outfit, I'll be like, you know, what's your guys' favorite season? Or what are you guys wearing this season? Something like that. Or you can always start it off with like, you know, double tap this photo if you love ice cream or something. Personally, when I post a new video, I also include it in my bio. There's a little link. So I'll make sure that I, you know, include, click the link in my bio to watch the newest video with the little emoji finger pointing up. It just kind of gives somebody like a reason to like keep staying on your profile. So if it's like, oh, you're asking me to like it, I'll like it. You know, you just don't even think about it. It's like, oh, double tap. I got it. You got it. I'll comment. I'll follow you. I'll like you. It's great. It's the way it works. Number seven is engage with other influencers. So I found this a little hard just because everybody always seemed to either ignore me or there was just a lot of people who had a bigger following that I was trying to get in the crowd with and they just didn't really want me in the crowd. I don't know a nicer way to say that, but I have gotten some messages that aren't so nice. I've also just gotten no replies at all with me asking for help or asking on any recommendations or advice and anything and people just don't really want to do it. They want to be the only person that is on Instagram that is famous, that is getting these brand deals and I just think that is absolute crap because there are how many brands out there and how many people out out there and everybody's got a different aesthetic. So if you are engaging with other influencers that are out there, whether they have a high following or a low following, it's just another good way to kind of get people to like look at your name. If your name is everywhere, people are going to see it more and more and they're going to want to follow you because they're going to be like, okay, this girl's keeping up with the same things that I like. I should follow her too because we probably have some similar interests. Number eight is to create a pod. This is great. I actually am part of two pods right now. What you do is you add um, about 12 people to a private little group that's in your DMs and then every time you post, you share that post with those people so that they can like and comment on it. Now, if you get at least five words commented on your post within the first 30 minutes, that is going to boost your photo up in the Instagram's feed just because of their algorithm. So within the first 30 minutes, if you're having like 12 people comment five words or more, that's going to boost your post up that much more. And plus it just kind of gives you this community where you know you're going to get at least, you know, these 12 people liking and commenting on your post and they're going to get it as well. And it just kind of helps build everybody up. It's like a win-win situation. Number nine is to switch your profile to a business profile. I did this a long time ago because that way you can see your actual insights. You can see how many people you're reaching, your profile views, um, easy things like if people are clicking the links in your stories and stuff, which I think anybody can do, but that's just another nice way. I personally love to get insights. I love to see like what my audience is, you know, where they're viewing my stuff from, when's the best time to post, what photos they're engaging with the most, everything like that, because insights are going to help you grow. The more you know when to post and what to post, the quicker you're going to grow. And number 10, absolutely crucial, is to use some sort of a planner app in order to organize your Instagram. So for me, I use an app called Preview. It is great. You can upload photos and then you can move them around. So you basically have your whole entire Instagram feed um, right there on that app. So if I say uploaded two more photos and I wanted to know what they would look like in my feed, I upload them to the app and I can move them around in the order that I want, you know, in the order that I want to post too, which is great because then you can see what your feed actually looks like because sometimes things just don't go together. Like you don't want, you know, two outfit photos right in a row if they kind of look the same with the same angles and whatnot. So that is a great way in order to like organize your Instagram so that it looks more aesthetically pleasing. Because if your Instagram is all over the place, people aren't going to want to stick around. Like they want some something good to look at. Plus with that app, you can actually schedule a post too, which is really nice. So say you're going on vacation or if you take a bunch of photos and you just don't have the time or you're in school or you want to post during a great engagement time, which say is like 7 p.m. for you, but you're going to be in a movie or you have class or something, you can actually schedule your post with the caption and the hashtags and everything. And it will go up at that time, which is great, which is that's just like having your own personal assistant. This app has your back. And not only this one, there are a ton of them. It doesn't really matter what you use, whatever one works for you. I personally just use preview. 
you and I would recommend that one to you guys. So I think I have talked your ear off. Those are my top 10 tips and tricks in order to grow your Instagram, to get Insta famous, to be an Insta model, to get those brand deals, you know, just to, to grow your following. And that is the best organic tips that I can give you outside of buying your followers, which I know a lot of people do. Um, at one point, I think I had about 12,000 followers and I bought a pack of 5,000 and I was thinking, okay, great. I'm, I'm going to boost up my following 5,000. And they ended up hacking my account. I did not get my 5,000 followers that I paid for. It was only like 25 bucks, but still didn't get that. They hacked my account, deleted a bunch of my photos and it was a hot mess. So let me just tell you, buying followers is not worth it. If you are out there, engaging with the community on Instagram, especially people that are in the same type of work that you do, whether it's fashion or food or fitness or pets or whatever, everybody's going to see that. And the more that you put yourself out there, the more that you're commenting and liking, the more that your profile is going to get back. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I know it was a lot of talking, but thank you guys for listening. I just have a lot of information that I would love to share with you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed and I think that is going to be it. I will see all of you beautiful people in my next video.